oftentimes you'll be given a rational function and you'll be asked to find its domain. So what, what does that mean and, and how do you do that? Well, first of all, you remember a function is when you have an expression like this, the set equal to like f of x or g of x. And what this allows for is the ability to have input values that you plug into the function and output values that you get out of the function. So just as a, a quick reminder, uh, it basically has a domain and a range. The domain is the set of input values. Uh, normally these are x values. And then the range is the set of the y values that come out of the function. And so when they ask you to find the domain for a rational function, what they want is they want you to find the set of all the x values that would yield an output, which means that would just give you any y value in the range. It doesn't even matter what it is. So most x values are fine. You can plug in most x values. The thing you have to watch out for with rational functions is that the x value that you plug in can't give you division by zero. So usually the domain looks something like this. Usually your domain would be something like all real numbers. You can plug in any x you want except except like in this case let's let's just look at this example here x squared plus 9 divided by x minus 7 x could be 1 and you'd get an answer x could be 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 you could plug in any of those x values but notice if you plug in 7 you get division by 0 so we're, our domain would be all real x values except x equals 7 because you, you can't have 7 because again it would give you division by 0. So what, what do we do in a, in a general situation? We watch out for division by 0. So what we do is we'll take our denominator, we'll take this guy like x minus 7 over here on some scratch paper and we'll set it equal to 0. Okay now when we set it equal to 0 and we solve like here we would get x equals 7. I'm not saying that 7 is the domain. I'm saying that x equals 7 is the only point that's not in the domain. Again, because it would give us division by 0. So usually for these rational functions, what you do is you'll simply say the domain is all real numbers except and then this and that and the other bad spot that would make the denominator equal 0.